Hi, Chris Walls from Second Swing. We're at Ping headquarters today in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm with James Lee, one of Ping's top club fitters here. Just had the chance to get out on the range and do some testing with the new G700 iron. Exciting new product that Ping's got out. Hollow design, super forgiving, and creating really impressive ball speed numbers as well as launch numbers. Um, got a chance to hit some balls on TrackMan with this club today. And uh, James, the numbers were pretty good, pretty consistent. They were really good. Ball speed was up. Uh, what was really consistent was your launch angle. It was a nice high launch angle with a little bit lower spin. So you get that kind of penetrating ball flight, but not penetrating where it's going to go out there and, and just land and keep rolling. You had a great land angle, which is right around 48, which is ideal because that's stopping power. Yeah, and that's something, you know, that people need to understand about you know, a distance iron, if you can't stop it on the green, it's not that much good to you. So whenever I'm hitting a club like this, and I knew it was going to be long, and it was, I knew the fact that I could launch it up in the air and have it land so softly, but, you know, without the spin, without so the that spin. it's just going to carry, right. is really impressive in terms of what's been done from a design standpoint. Yeah, because you don't want the spin to give you that stopping power, because then on the windy days, or you can just lose distance if it's spinning too much. It's still going out there and still launching high enough to be able to stop. Yeah, and the great. other thing that was great too is the, the numbers we saw from a distance standpoint were pretty consistent. So it's not like, the other concern you have with distance irons is, am I gonna catch these flyers in these hot right. spots right. where all of a sudden I'm gonna hit a ball 30 yards over a green into the right. hazard and make triple. Once you know your distance on your seven iron, that's gonna be your consistent distance on the seven iron. Yeah, and so even though this was long, the distance numbers were super consistent. And like you said, the land angle was fantastic. Right, for and that's a, one of the things we look at to yeah. make sure. And I know actually from a number standpoint, land angle is one of the most important numbers Absolutely. you look out with the irons, correct? Absolutely, yes. So how did you like the feel of those irons? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because as a distance iron, and, and Marty Jerson talked to us about this, sort of high COR, you could almost really feel it spring off the face. Right. Yeah, it was, but it wasn't harsh. It didn't feel hard. Right. It didn't feel, you know, I still got feedback if I missed the center, but there was that definitely noticeable kind of spring, and it wasn't just springing forward, it was springing up springing in the air. Springing up, right, a little bit better launch, and. Yeah, Good. so for an iron in this category, the feel is outstanding. Good. Yeah, G700, if you're somebody who's looking for more distance in your golf game this year with the irons, this may be the iron for you. We'll take your trade, second swing, get you in a set of G700s, help you hit the ball a little bit farther, hit more greens, hold more greens, shoot better scores. James, thanks for your time today. You're quite welcome. Thank you.